Hi guys, it's Jessie here and welcome today to a new pick a card reading. So I hope that you guys are ready for today's pick a card reading guys. So in this pick a card reading, we're going to look at the next person that you're going to be intimate with. And therefore we're going to focus upon their looks, their traits, their zodiac and so much more details. Whatever we can get juicy, spicy details from this person. So as you can see, I have prepared four different card palettes that will bring you that answer so group number one you're today represented by this beautiful amethyst sphere group number two you're represented by this beautiful amethyst crystal ball group number three you're represented by this beautiful amethyst gayout and then lastly group number four you're represented by this beautiful purple and green fluoride so Take a moment right now, beautiful souls, to meditate upon the question, to focus upon who's going to come up next in your intimate life, and then pick one of these four card piles that you see in front of you that you're drawn to, and they could be multiple. When you do that, go down below in the comment box or in the description box, there you'll find the timestamp that will bring you directly to your reading. Now guys, keep in mind, all of the readings that I do present here on my channel are general readings, so only take what resonates with you. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do that on my website, which is www.angeliceclips.com. So now I'm going to start off with group number one and all the other groups. I'll see you at the click of your timestamp. Well, hello there, group number one, and welcome to your reading. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful amethyst sphere. So let's hop into this reading and see what details we can figure out about the person that you're going to be intimate with next. Okay, so we've got here the Ace of Wands. Wow. We've got here the Four of Cups. Mm-hmm girl there are good things okay i'm saying like girl but mm, boy <laughs> like both gosh there are like some beautiful things just popping up kind of like right away that i'm really really excited to see because i can see here that the ace of wands this person who you're going to be intimate with is going to be a completely new person in your life i feel like this is a person that is really going to spark your energy like off the top there's going to be a chemistry between you guys it's going to be really really amazing with this person it's kind of like the first thing that i can like see here within the cars especially with the star here next to it i feel like fireworks like this star for me represents fireworks so whoever you're going to be intimate with next year group number one is someone mm, fireworks literally you're going to have so much fun with this person like the chemistry off the charts it's going to be really fantastic i feel like you're going to be feeling like you're on a cloud with this person like your wishes coming true i feel like this person will definitely make all your wishes come true as well like in the bedroom i feel like they're a very good listener as in they will really do things that will make you very very happy here group number one so this is one thing like this is someone who is absolutely going to make everything in your life just feels so so much better they're going to bring in so much happiness so this is kind of like one thing i'm just like dang and one thing that i'm getting here with the four of cups i'm seeing like you have to get your head out of like i'm seeing like an ostrich here you know when they're scared they're putting their head like in the ground and they're just like pretending that nothing is happening no here you need to go out i feel like there is something here regarding the situation you need to go out you might feel just a little bit afraid when this person first up just you know notice you i feel like it's not something that you would expect in a way but I'm seeing here that this is really going to surprise you and maybe throw you off balance but it's going to be really good I can especially feel that you know when you guys are absolutely madly and crazy in love with someone you find someone super super attractive and it just ends up being mutual it's just like whoa really like it's so so good to have like that you know mutual feeling and just hit it off kind of like right away so i'm seeing here you need to get you know 
your head out of the sand like i feel like there is something that you might do at the time when you meet each other that just might seem a little bit silly at first and then you know once it progresses you guys will just have this amazing chemistry and literally like look at this bunny just bouncing like on this tab this bunny is super super happy to step into this new adventure they're full of energy so much spark so much energy so definitely this is something that i'm seeing you um i just going into like being done with all the old crap like shitty things that you have been going through and just stepping into this and realizing you know this is it this is kind of like what i've been waiting for and whether you guys want this for fun or if it's gonna like long lasting because remember this is like a general reading i do feel like it's going to fit your ideas definitely um it's going to fit whatever you want it's a very very rewarding relationship or this person is definitely going to bring a lot of good things into your life here group number one so let's move to some cards wow we've got here the seven of rings and we have here uh four of rings so that's funny we have here the four of rings and the four of cups so i'm seeing here that this person that you're going to meet i feel like there is something about the situation that might turn out just a little bit silly at first um but also I feel like there's kind of like a message here towards you not to hold on to your crazy ideas that maybe will this stand in the way of this relationship. I feel like there's something maybe conservative. Maybe some of you guys are conservative. Some of you guys might think, oh, you know, I'm not going to do this because it's going to go by like so fast or it's happening so fast. I'm not going to invest in this or, you know, or maybe thinking this is just going to be a one night stand because more than that, it cannot be. Or I cannot like sleep with this person like on the first date or something like that. I feel like those are things that might just block this relationship to blossom. So be aware that sometimes you just need to listen to your intuition. If it feels good, it feels good. I mean, it there are people who are together who slept with each other like the first night who move um you know in within the first week with each other and are still together and at the same time there are people who did that and it didn't work out so you never know from the beginning it might work out it might not but don't let like those ideas just you know keep you from a beautiful experience with someone Okay, so within this, um, I'm seeing like this person is going to be very invested in you, very invested into this relationship. As I said, like, I feel like this is a person who might tend to please. I feel like they listen very good to their own body, but they're also very good in giving back. So um, whether that's in bed or whether that's just like in the relationship that you guys are going to be um, in, I feel like this is going like two way street. There is giving and receiving within this relationship. So I feel like it's going to be perfectly balanced. And I feel like this is a person who's really going to invest so much in you and so much in this relationship. So I feel like you kind of like definitely are going to be very pleased with this person. So let's see what else of traits we can get as we move along down your reading here. Wow. Okay, glamorous. So we've got like someone who's very, very good looking. I'm also getting this pal. The card and the pal. So we've got in here destiny, glamour, and authenticity. So one thing that I'm seeing here is that this person is going to push you to become your true authentic self. And as I said, like this if there are like some certain doubts that you have like at the beginning of this connection i feel like it's going to push you to rethink your your um standards maybe um but also why you keep those standards so i feel like there is much of more from you that's going to come up to the front while you're with this person i feel like they're really going to push you to 
let you sh let them know and let everyone know who you truly are so if for some reason maybe you have been pleasing in the past or maybe in past relationship you didn't feel like you could ask for things i feel like within this relationship they're really going to push you to speak out and to tell them what you want and what you desire so it's really going to be something that is going to be really important for you that you're going to be push to become your true self which is really really gorgeous i'm also seeing here that this person is a very gorgeous person i feel like literally they do take care of themselves they look good they feel good they might be very fit physique like good looking like really good looking um i do feel also they do pay attention to their style of clothes it might be that you're also aware of that or that you might have like some interest in that however you know always like the first impression that you make from someone is the first impression is really important um though it can be changed you know when you get to know someone the first impression is going to be really really good from this person as i said like your chemistry is going to be like off the charts between you two so yeah how could it be not so i feel like you're going to find this person very very attractive but at the same time i feel like this person is going to find you very attractive and for different reasons maybe reasons that you would not see about yourself i feel like this person is really going to surprise you with that like you know there's so much more about you that you don't know how amazing or how great or how pretty you are and i feel like this person is really going to put it into words maybe things you've never heard before and this person is going to notice them and say that to you so i feel like this person is also bringing bunch of new information regarding you as a person regarding your body and so much more into your life i feel like almost you're learning new stuff about yourself and how others also perceive you and that is going to be really really great for your confidence here i do feel like this meeting between you guys is something that just must happen um as I said, like whether this is long term or short term, we're talking here about, you know, <laughs> a general reading. So take it as it is. But I do feel like this is a meeting that's just destined um, to be. I do feel for most part of you, this might be something that's that's really going to change your life. Um, as I said, like you're going to get a lot of new information regarding yourself and that is really going to make a difference in how you see yourself and how you're going to put yourself out there um because of this person so yeah definitely you know it's going to be an experience of a lifetime that's like what i'm getting like it's really going to influence you so let's look at some other cards let's see if we can get some zodiac from this person regarding the cards so we've got here Saturn. I've got here a very structured person. They're very organized. They're very clean and neat. Um, they like luxury as well. That's one thing that I'm getting. And they do value. We have your seven. Um, wait, we have here seven um, as well. Also having here the 17. Um, relationship is really important for this person. So I definitely feel... Like, however it ends, I feel like this is a person who genuinely just wants to be with you. Like, they genuinely just are, they're very honest. That's like what I'm feeling. Like, no matter how things end up, um, sometimes, you know, things just don't work out or anything like that. Um, just want to point out, you know, it's a general reading. So that's like why I'm seeing like both things. Um, and... I feel like this is a person who's really genuine, genuine with their emotions, with their intention. It's someone who really wants to commit to this relationship, really wants to invest into this relationship. So you've got, I feel like you've got a really good person here coming into your life next. That's like one thing that I'm definitely getting regarding this person here. Group number one. So let's look at some spiciness that this person might bring into your life. Ooh, we've got soul connection here alongside with destiny. So you know how we're talking about, as I said, like, I feel like this person is meant to come into your life, whether it is a soulmate, whether it is, it could be even karmic because soul connections are also karmic. Um, but 
I definitely feel like this is something that's destined to happen. This is something, as I said, like it's going to be life changing for you guys. And most of the time when things are life changing, it's because this connection is going to be really important. So you've known this person before, you've done things with this person before. So this is going to be a really important person that's going to come here into your life. I am seeing though that regarding differences, don't let the differences pull you guys apart. Okay, that is something that I'm just like saying like flat out. I'm not going to lie about it. Maybe you guys are going to be in ways different than each other. And you might think, you know, when you're so different, that's like what I'm seeing, you know, that you might have ideas in your head that things need to be a certain way here group number one and be careful with that because you can make them so much bigger in your mind when you think about you know just rationalizing differences or rationalizing your relationship instead of also letting your emotions play out so be really careful with that because that is something that could potentially drive you guys apart so yeah, that is something here that I'm seeing, or it might be something that you guys are afraid of that might happen. As I said, like, I feel like group number one here, you're very, very much in your head, in your own head. You might be someone who overthinks things. So I'm seeing here, that's a potential of you creating that, you know, eight of swords, being trapped like in your own mind and creating things that aren't really there. So be careful with that, especially, you know, when you're opening up to such a beautiful connection. So let's roll these zodiac dice to see what we might be having here. We have double Sag, so really beautiful as we already had here the ace of wands which is also a fire sign we have here scorpio and a libra and we have a leo and virgo as well popping up so yeah let me put up right away next up i just want to focus on the looks of this person so for that i'm just going to grab this pal so we have here the peacock. So I'm seeing here someone who is very, very good looking. They might have blue eyes, um, blonde hair. Um, I feel like they're very, might be tall regarding a man. Um, I'm seeing for some of you guys, this might also be someone who has a very big energy. So I feel like when they walk into the room, they just like a really big energy. That's like one thing that I'm getting regarding this person. Um, they might also be very, very protective. Um, for some of you guys, they might also have blonde to deep blonde or darker blonde hair. I feel like to their skin, uh, they might be a lighter skin or golden skin. That is one thing that is coming up. But as I was talking about, whatever you look at it, this is a very, very um, beautiful person to look at. That's like... I just can't get like over it. They're like very gorgeous to look at. So let's see what else I'm getting. I'm getting by the waist more straight hair or to just a little bit of not curly wavy hair. That's like what I have here. So we have here a scarf. I loved September regarding meeting this person dating app so you might meet them in a dating app there might be your ideal partner partner they're very tidy as i talked about structure here family is really important to them capricorn rain so i'm getting here you know the rainy weather um might be a little bit cold so we're turning here into winter um autumn type of weather so if you're not in that area it might be just a rainy day um, or it might be just a colder day depending on you know so this is all regarding you guys meeting them and those outer details from them so yeah I feel like physique their physique is pretty pretty good here so let's see what kind of letter we might get for this person their initial we've got the S T L the C W to C, the B, the A, the Q, and the V. 
so yeah that's like what i'm getting from your person um let me see what else also guys i do want to mention for some of you guys seeing like the rings here and also combining that with a bear this might also be a person with a darker skin tone so it's a it's a whole mix here but i am getting that so i want to point it out so yeah so group number one this was your reading and i hope that your reading resonate with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would really love to have you around for now thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye well, hello there group number two and welcome to your reading so you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful amethyst bowl so let me squish that right over there and let's hop into your reading to see what kind of like traits we can get from the person that you're going to be intimate with Matt. so let's see what we got here for group number two oh so we got here the two of wands really gorgeous we've got here the queen of wands so a lot of fiery energy within this group as well super super gorgeous so first up i can say here group number two i'm very very pleased to see that whoever you're going to come up next i feel like they're very very adventurous i feel like maybe you might meet this person even on a vacation or something um maybe it will start as a flirt or a thing or a fling or something like that but i feel like there is a lot of spicy energy into it i feel like who like really really hot i feel like this is a very very adventurous type i feel like this might be an adventure to start off with and as it is a general reading this could like go all the way so it could go like ending up in a wonderful relationship but it could also just be an adventure but i'm definitely seeing here whoever you're going to be with next is going to be one that you're going to experience a wonderful adventure with so i know maybe some of you guys might say oh no you know if it's just a fling i'm not going to start anything but sometimes we need those, ex the, uh, those experiences in our life okay um but as I said, it is a general reading, so it could go literally both ways. So I'm not seeing anything. I'm just like seeing this in all of my readings because, you know, we're just looking at who you're going to be intimate with next. So I'm seeing here, this is a very adventurous type of person. They really like to experience new things. They're a very upbeat, happy person. They do have a very charming personality to them. I'm also seeing here, they almost kind of like cute, funny, a little bit laugh. You know, they like to to make jokes or anything like that but in cases they can also be very very serious when it comes down to certain things within the queen of wands here i can see it's a very very passionate person so they might not go like on things um in a conventional way so i feel like they are very creative in how they uh, approach things in life people sometimes may say you know they're crazy but they end up just having so much success with their unconventional ideas um they inspire a lot of people who are around them and i also see that they will inspire you a lot like it's it's going to be really really good having this person in your life here group number two um you're going to be very very inspired and i feel also that you're going to feel like everything that you've worked for or worked towards it's definitely going to happen with this person. So whether you're taking care now of yourself and just learning how to speak your truth, you know, becoming more confident, just investing in yourself, I feel like that self-investment is really going to pay off with this person. So it's not, I feel like you're really going to notice like, you know, everything that you've done like so far, all maybe the soul searching that you've done is it's going to come in handy when this person kind of like walks into your life because you're going to need like all those things with this person it's it's definitely going to be a whole lot of transformation here for you with this person they're really going to help you like on the way to grow to become bigger to just you know i feel like turn into literally the butterfly that you are so yeah i feel like there's going to be a lot of changes when this person comes into your life but they're definitely i feel like their heart is in a good place i feel like with this person here group number two you're going to experience really new things i feel like this person is going to get you out or get you moving or something like that or if you're already like that i feel like you guys are going to have a lot of fun with each other because it really complements each other 
it really does so yeah gorgeous things like right from the start gorgeous things here regarding this person coming into your life so let's see what else we can get as we move down your reading so first up let's see we have here the five of swords Ooh, look at that we have the the king of swords very gorgeous regarding this person i feel like they're going to have muscles they're really i feel like they're they're very sportive um it might also be like they might have certain sports that you know might be might be seen like a little bit dangerous to some of you guys you know might be like skydiving or you know surfing or some type of i feel like they're very very supportive and i feel like you can see that on their body they're going to be like great looking um they might have just a little bit of a beard um for some it will be longer and for some it just will be like just a small type of like beer or something but i do feel it does bring like a kind of sexiness a kind of matureness to this person it makes them really wowy i feel like what wherever they are and what type of skin they have they would have like just this tan tone to them because i feel they would be like outdoorsy a lot so i feel like they have like this glow type of skin to them also they're very competitive guys i feel like they're very very competitive um, when they set their eyes on you, they're willing to go to great lengths to get your attention and get just, you know, you to see them. Uh, so I'm definitely feeling here someone who's very confident, um, but definitely who will make very, very clear, like right away, how they feel about you. It's someone who's very, very expressive. And how could you not when you have like this much ones in your um, energy? But it shows that they're very, very passionate. They really want someone to know how they feel and you know what you can expect from them so definitely seeing here someone who's willing to just put their heart out there and work for you and work for this relationship and maybe even trying to convince you to just date them to just go out with them to just give them a chance so yeah they're not i feel like they're not too shy to get their hands kind of like dirty and also with that, I could also feel like within the bathroom, it's going to be really, really spicy. I feel like literally they're not afraid of getting their hands dirty, um, whatever that might mean for some of you guys. But they're, I feel like they're kinky in a way. And you don't have to be in anything kind of like kinky, but kinky is like such a broad, you know. So take it as you want it. But I'm definitely feeling here that they're willing to, you know, have some kinkiness. They're very adventurous, right? So sometimes when you're that adventurous you might bring that into bed with you as well you like to seek out new things new adventures uh, maybe new positions or you know new flavor new taste um that's kind of like energy that i'm getting like from this person also i'm seeing a lot of lingerie so maybe they like seeing people in lingerie maybe you like to wear lingerie when you are like in the bathroom so those are things that are like coming right into my mind maybe you guys like role playing so all these things kind of like woo. look at this so i already was talking about confidence so definitely yeah i'm like almost feeling this type of leo energy coming up um but it could also be aries or sag you know when we're talking about fire energy but definitely this person is very very confident very very confident i'm not saying like you know they are so much into themselves or anything like that, but they're confident and that's a good thing believe me when someone is confident that can be really really sexy they just know what they want you know and they're also i feel like they're willing to know how they can please you in that so it's not like hand in hand when someone is confident it means you know they don't they don't notice you or they think like they're better than anyone else so they're just willing to take the steps and step up to that game and show you really how they feel and also to not to be afraid to express that you know to be vulnerable and show that they are willing to invest in this relationship so we have here the card of glamour as i was talking about like this is a person as i said like they're very very good looking for some of you guys they might also have a little bit of a tattoo or something on their skin as i said like they might have like a beer um i feel like they might have a really stylish 
hairdo or something i feel like they keep up their hair really good you might see like this person going to the barber shop very often or very often they keep up with it they smell good i feel like they dress good um but their body is really something that you will notice they're very very good with their hands as well i'm seeing a lot of hands i'm seeing like a lot of maybe push-up as well um so i'm seeing here strong hands strong men hands if we're talking about female this is a female who looks good i'm seeing kind of like blondish hair if we're talking about male i'm seeing more of a darker to more brownish hair to medium blonde to dark brown dark brown hair that's like what i'm seeing like here with men and just like short hair that's like one of the things that i'm seeing here i feel also here that this is a person who has a very powerful energy just you know regarding them i feel like they're like magnets so like it or not but i feel like a lot of people just notice them so i feel like they're super super sexy super hot um, they might get a lot of attention, but that's just because they look good. And that's not something like you can hate them for it. When you look good, you just look good and people just, you know, give you that attention. But that is something that I'm really seeing um, within this person. They do have like this magnetic power um, of being just who they are. And people just instantly just jaw dropping. I feel like jaw dropping gorgeous. Like when people look at them, they're like, Mm, dang this this person is really fine this person is really good um there's something about them and um yes i feel like they're they're aware of that that they're good looking but no i don't feel like they take advantage of that so yeah take that as it resonates with you guys so let's see here what else we might get regarding this person a lot of details we're getting so maybe we can get here something regarding their job so let's see here we've got structure i feel like this this person is very neat very neat very clean um i don't feel like to the minimalist type but i feel like everything has like a place within them and i feel also they they do have like this very strict maybe schedule though they are adventurous they do have a certain type of schedule that they do like to keep up with so for instance maybe they go three three times a week to the gym or maybe they wake up every morning and go to the gym they do have like a morning routine um nighttime routine type of thing they really like that because it keeps them fit it it keeps them you know feeling good about themselves so that's like what i'm what i'm hearing here they're very structured into taking care of themselves their body their health and also mental health is really important for them so yeah those are the things that are coming up they do work maybe in communication as i'm seeing here so this might be like a person who's a sale manager or who does sales or who communicates with other people um within their job so i'm definitely seeing here selling um that's like really one thing that comes just rapidly regarding this person i'm seeing a lot of selling uh, maybe investment so selling something investing something um what else like what type of job do we have like it could also be like a speaker that's like maybe one thing i'm also seeing like within this person but what i'm definitely seeing with this person guys is the connection that this person makes with one through another like it's really hard to explain it's like selling you know having two parties and then making them come together like that's like what i'm seeing with this person and this person does that through communication so it doesn't matter like in what type of field i'm seeing like literally this person is a connector like they bring parties together they you know whether it's like selling houses or anything like that they they bring people together who want a certain type of thing they might have like that product and they're looking for people who want to buy that product or they have like different type of people and they're bringing them kind of like together or something like that that's like what i'm getting also communication is something that this person is pretty good at um we all i can see like within the cards this is a very very charming person this is a person when this person start to speak they're like mm, dang you're fine you're looking good you're hot but you can also talk the talk it's really i feel like this is just the guy 
or the girl that you know has it almost kind of like all they have like the personality they have the looks um it's really really gorgeous so let's see what they might bring into your life what else so we've got here fear Ooh. so i feel here group number two that you might get a little bit of cold feet regarding this person maybe because they're so good gorgeous looking so juicy so yummy that you might be just a little bit afraid of them you might just you know doubt yourself just a little bit but don't worry i feel like that is just something that will maybe happen like at the beginning i'm also seeing here maybe you be looking at this person before this person looks at you that's like something that i'm getting with this like you might be checking this person out before this person checks you out and i do feel like you will get a lot of support within this or from this person like they really would stimulate you in every possible way they're really good people actually so let's see what else we can get regarding their physique or anything like that so we've got here the fox Ooh, very foxy energy okay so yeah they're very i feel like they're very very smart very smart with words here guys now of course when you hear me talking like that you know it could go both ways but keep that in mind they're very very smart with their words this is it they're very sexy they know they got it so yeah um but look at this the angels are kind of like hmm, jesse you know this in general i feel like even like with the smart and the words the angels are just like saying okay but there are a lot of guys or girls who are smart and sexy doesn't have to be that they're a player they're loyal as a dog like <laughs> literally that's kind of like what i'm getting like with this doesn't have to be you know when you're smart maybe maybe we're all thinking like the same thing when i said you know a fox that's like the angels just saying you know hmm doesn't have to be like that doesn't have to be like that if you're guilty thinking about that leave that in the comment box right down below so we've got here the starfish we've got here that um when you listen to your intuition here let it guide you throughout this relationship just remember that this is a general reading so i cannot like be specific on all you know your single details but trust your intuition in this right trust your intuition i definitely feel like this is this is one faithful person they're loyal and you might be a little bit afraid of that because the way they look or things but no sometimes those are just like our pre-judgment thingies that we do have so be aware of that i was just you know thinking about the same thing so yeah We've got here um, Capricorn and we've got Aquarius, Capricorn again and Gemini and we have Cancer and Leo popping up. Really matchy matchy with that Leo energy there. So last up guys, I just went to get some initials for you guys. Ooh, we've got a lot. We've got the W N Y C G S H J L and I. So those might be the letters of their initials. So group number two, this was your reading. I want to thank you so much for sticking here to the end. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! Hi there, group number three, and welcome to your reading. So you're here because you're drawn to this Amethyst Gayout. So let's hop into your reading to see who you're going to be intimate with and next year, group number three. So let's see what type of juicy details we can get from this person. So we've got here the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Whoever you're hooking up with next year, we've got the Three of Cups. Oh, who? I might feel here that you, you might be hooking up with someone that you don't need to be hooking up here with. <laughs> Group number three, that's like straight from that when we were just like seeing this. Um, three of Cups, there might be like, you know, 
um, it might be someone that you already know or that you might feel like you don't want to hook up with because maybe you guys are friends or you guys are really close um, or maybe you guys are on um, a place where you guys just feel like it's it's okay so this might be even like an ex or something where you guys feel like you know everything is okay and peaceful and you might end up hooking up with this person um those are kind of like the things that i'm feeling i might feel here like booze might come here into place it might be like at a party or something um it might also be even like a colleague um even though it's not like the three pentacles but i am seeing maybe you guys are you know more than colleagues stuff like that that you might hook up with um maybe you've been thinking in your mind you know i don't i don't want to hook up with this person but i do want to hook up with this person having like these two crazy thoughts and i feel like this is a person who as i'm seeing here a lot of pentacles they might have to do like with your work area or you might work with them um but it's a person who's very practical who's very goal oriented i might even hear feel you know if you go towards capricorn they're 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 very into investing in their future building something um they're working really really hard to do that um they might be a little bit of a workaholic i might see here but all in all they're very into perfecting the craftsmanship they're they're really hard workers so i might see here um hooking up with this person here group number three um might feel for some of you guys is a bad idea like you know i don't want to jeopardize anything but at the same time feeling good about it because you do want to get maybe to that next level with this person but i do feel like this might be like a person who might be a workaholic and then when they get to you or you know they're like dang you know what i mean like it's i feel like you will wake them up like literally wake them up in like their whole world you know especially when we're thinking maybe about capricorn that's like one vibration that i definitely feel here it's a hard worker it's someone who's really focused on goals um and little or less on love and when love hit them it's strike it's kind of like whoa whoa what <laughs> like what's happening so i feel like you'll be literally waking this person up with this experience with this intimate relationship with this person but i'm definitely feeling like you know it might be like at a celebration at a party or something like that it might be a co-worker as i said it might maybe even be you know an ex who you established like a good relationship with or something like that it might be even be like a friend or something but i definitely feel like there is a changing into relationship here there is like going from one type of relationship maybe platonic to a more intense and it doesn't have to be like that it was always platonic you know maybe you guys already felt like that chemistry and energy but we're unwilling to jeopardize whatever you guys have and so i feel like now you're ready <laughs> now maybe it will happen i feel like the circumstances will make things happen for you guys like as i said like there might be you know booze there might be you know a party there might be like certain softened things i don't know like if you do have that like with the holidays you might do things like at work you might have celebrations or gathering and i feel like at those things this thing might happen because it brings you out of a certain environment that just is completely different than you know working at your desk or something because i do feel like as i said like this is a hardworking person this is someone who um really puts a lot of effort into their job maybe they're not even aware that someone likes them or something like that so i definitely feel like this is something that's coming from your side here group number three so yeah so we've got here the emperor mm, i was feeling that i was it's not, it was like on top of my on the tip of my tongue and yeah i just didn't i just didn't um say it but i do feel like this might be an older person that you're falling for here group number three this might be an older person that might be coming into your life um but i do feel they look a lot younger than they are like their aesthetic is just like so much younger than they are i feel like they're fit you don't see like they are the age that they are and that might be different for everyone but i do feel there might be like an age gap here um in that same area i do feel you know they do have maybe 
um, they will they will be older than you, so you will see that in their face, maybe on their hands or things like that. But it's not going to be something that you will, you know, that will be so obvious. They're very good looking, even though they're age. Like that's something that I do feel. We do have here the five of rings. So I'm seeing here being in love or having like feelings for this person. It almost seems like within this reading, we have like on this side, this person and you on this side. So um, I'm feeling like being in love with this person because I do feel here the emotions might be deeper here. Before this person realized that you're into them, I feel like you are already into them. So I feel like this might be something that you are contemplating long before it happens here group number three so let me know in the comment box down below if this speaks to you guys but yeah so i'm feeling like you might be a little bit insecure on how this person feels about you because maybe they're not even aware that you know there is something going on because you're just just oblivious to those things i feel like they're they're they just don't know they don't pay attention to that so yeah i'm definitely seeing here that there's going to be a little bit of insecurity on your side because this person darling they they don't know they don't know and you have you might have like these emotions um before they do but i do feel once they become aware of that it's going to be like a ripple of effect like it's really going to start something within them i do feel this person is a well-established you might say rich person they don't have you know to think about their money status or anything i feel like they are in a position where they're definitely have a lot of influence have a lot of cash stream they already made it that's like what i'm seeing here they already made it so yeah i feel like they will bring a lot of joy into your life but they're also when you start to talk to them i feel like oh look at this what's sliding here what is sliding here We've got fertility here. Ooh, la la, group number three, be careful. Oh my God. So yeah, let me finish that. You know, when you start to talk to them, there is another different side about them that you will be very, very impressed with once you get to know them, right? Um, they're well-established people. So moving to this fertility card, just gonna like slide into the game guys be really careful i could feel like potentially you'll end up pregnant from this person you might end up having their baby they might you know i feel like they will impregnate you if you are a woman listen to this um and if you don't want that make sure that you're using protection but i'm feeling definitely you will be meeting this person maybe in a time that you're fertile and you'll be having, you know, your thingy with this person when you're fertile. So definitely could be making babies because of this. Could be making potentially babies. So yeah, balls here. Like, okay. Okay, that's like one thing that I'm seeing. So yeah, guys, if you don't want this, protection, protection, protection. Okay, so but definitely fertile. Very high here. Um, it's coming out saying the obvious, stating the obvious. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like very fertile. Kids, baby, baby making. Um, I feel also you will have this very passionate night with this person. We have invitation. So talking about this, I feel like this is a person who... Maybe you're going to meet through an invitation. So maybe that gathering I was talking about, um, it's coming up again. Resources. We have like this person has a lot of resources. I feel like they're, as I said, like they're wealthy. They're wealthy here at group number three. So you've got someone here on your hands, older than you. Um, they might have a little bit of a grayish um, hair. Um, but it might also have like, I don't know, like what, I, what I'm specifically, but I'm seeing like a certain type of hairstyle that's very characteristic for people who are older. Now, don't ask me like, but I'm just seeing that. So you might think maybe a more of a conservative hairstyle or something that they do. Like that's like what I'm getting for this person. 
um, don't I feel they're very energetic um, for their age? There's also something I'm seeing here. They might also have a beard. Uh, for some of you guys, they might have glasses, um, but not all of you guys. Um, straight hair, dark hair, I'm seeing um, a lighter skin tone. Those are the things that I'm seeing. So for females, I'm seeing really long hair, longer hair, um, very beautiful physique, and they definitely have a sense for style. So that's, you know, that's the thing that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of passion. So I'm seeing literally you ripping this person out of like their <laughs> working habit and just, you know, bringing some passion into their life and definitely steamy, steamy, hot, love making. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like literally you guys, I cannot like literally. Oh, for you guys, this will be like a start of a family. Like I cannot seeing kids with this person. Definitely seeing kids with this person. I mean, I could like make a lot of things of it, but it's definitely seeing you guys making kids with this person. So I don't know where you guys are going with this. You guys don't want it use your protection if you guys want it it's in the card for you guys so really gorgeous so let's look at the zodiac signs uh, we got here Aries and Taurus Virgo and Cancer Virgo again and a Libra so next up let me just shake this thing again I'm also seeing here shoes, very slick shoes I'm getting. So we've got here snow in terms of meeting this person, rain. So we've got here autumn. We've got dating app, we've got gentle. We've got spicy, a little bit cocky within one year and we've got nature. So take it as it resonates with you guys regarding the meeting of your person. And then last up, I just want to get some letters for you guys to see what type of initials will come up regarding this person. So let's see what do we have. So we've got the P, the R, the Z, the L, the J, the U, and the Q. So group number three, this was your reading and I hope that it resonated with you guys. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, group number four and welcome to your reading. So you're drawn to this beautiful fluoride tower. So let's hop into your reading to see who you're going to be intimate with next, what their traits are, looks, and so much more. So let's see what we're going to get here for you today. So what do we have here for group number four? Our next intimate partner. Ooh, so we have here the six of swords. Five of wands. Oh my god. Mm-mm-mm. The Eight of Cups. Group number four. <laughs> Without hesitation, I'm seeing here that this person who you're going to be intimate with next is going to be someone that you've already left behind but maybe are struggling to let go of. I feel like there is so much chemistry between you guys. Okay, look at this. We have here the three of ones as well. Um, I feel like there is so much. Okay, look at this. We also have the devil. Sorry, just wanted to pull out some more cards just to clarify certain things. But I do feel like there is this chemistry between we between you guys um that's really hard to get rid of and within this reading i i just try to bring positive news but uh you know sometimes you guys will say you know i hate it when i see my ex coming up but i have to bring the news how it is so if you've chosen this pal it's really really you know the chances are high that you'll end up with one that you've already you know moved away from 
that is one thing that I'm getting. You know, one person that you thought might have been in your past that you walked away from but are having difficulty from letting go. And I can feel like it's not just you. Um, uh, you know, it's sorry for that. Um, it might be easy just to say, oh, but you're dealing with these types of emotions. But I feel like literally it's not only you. This person is also having a really, really hard time to let it go. They, even if you guys are, you know, both working really hard to move towards the future, to think about a future without maybe this forward person, you find it really, really hard to definitely have that closure. And maybe for some of you guys, being together with this person will be that closure that you guys need. Um, and for some of you guys, it will be the beginning of trying maybe again or, you know, to see where it happens or something like that. So I'm definitely seeing maybe for some of you guys, it will be, you know, to get that kind of like out of your system type of getting together with this person. I'm having kind of like a closure, but I definitely feel like there is this type of um, almost obsession like with this person and vice versa. So I feel like you're both are, even though maybe things have happened, the chemistry is still there. And so it's hard to let go, especially if there is still love, but things have happened. Um, it's really, really hard sometimes to definitely move away from a person. Sometimes we need a little bit of a closure and that might be, you know, being again with this person and having that moment again with this person to realize okay i'm ready to let go it could also be that you guys will try again so see how this reading resonates with you but i just wanted to pull out some more cards but i definitely feel like you guys have been working really really hard maybe to let go of this person or to start or to look at a future or something like that but this feeling this nagging feeling that you have towards this person is not going away that easily so it could end up you know you guys potentially ending up together with each other and see where it goes on from there so that is one thing that you know i'm seeing right away this is a person that is in your past it's not someone new here group number four i like to say that but it's not it's not someone new okay so having said that having you guys yelling at me in the comments like oh i hate my ex i get you guys but i'm so so sorry i'm so so sorry but that's like one thing that i'm seeing for some of you guys it will be like the happy outcome um keep in mind that some of you guys want to return to your ex again so yeah we have here the spirit of sorts so we have here a little bit of eagerness as i saw here with the devil eager being with each other but also eager to try to move on i feel like it's is the skill like you know where is it going and where is it leading me so you guys might feel you know like you guys don't know where this is going i mean also here see that for some of you guys it will be that you guys already have kids with this person and for that reason it's really hard for you guys to let go of this person because maybe you have you have a family there's more at, at stake here than just you know moving on from this person so for some of you guys i feel like also for the sake of family you might try it again you might give it like a shot again that is one thing that i'm getting also the empress here does shows me that you might be fertile this is kind of like the second pile that i'm getting like this fertile card but absolutely be careful when you are hooking up with this person it might be in the time of the month where you're very very fertile and you might end up having you know a baby or being pregnant something that you might want or might not want so be careful with that so those are kind of like the two messages that i'm getting here with this card so mm, yeah like beautiful Beautiful, but also harsh. Sometimes, you know, the heart wants what it wants, even though we know it's not the right thing, but it it kind of is. I feel like this person is really trying to get their life back together, to get structure in their life. Um, so I feel like it's also going to be really hard getting back together because a lot of things are going to, you know, emotions are going to run high again. Things are going to be disrupted again. And it might feel like you have to start over again because you were just scratching this wound completely open again. So I do feel like it's it's going to be good. It's going to be yummy because undoubtedly I'm seeing that. Like if you guys end up, you know, doing this, 
um, don't I mean do not find yourself stupid or anything we're just human so if you end up doing this it's it's going to be really good but at the same time it's it's scratching all the wounds open right um it's never easy to go back so really think about it what you want um, and why you ended up you know like this and if you truly want to go back that's actually also one of the beauty the things of you know doing these cards because you become aware of the choice that you have and you can choose differently right you have that free will to do that not because it's in the card it means it's going to end up like that you're just becoming aware of the choices that you have so yeah just pointed wanted to point that out i'm seeing here some uh, symbiosis so that call relates actually really beautifully with this card of the devil because it almost seems like you guys cannot oh my god i keep bumping into this but it almost seems like you guys cannot live without this person and so you guys are hanging on to that connection that you guys had so again i'm saying you know it might feel like it's difficult to move on from this person it might be very tempting to go back to this person whatever your decision is i'm not anyone here to try to tell you anything you know you have to feel good about yourself and it doesn't matter what that choice is but just feel good about yourself making those choices however i'm seeing here that it's really really hard for you to move on without this person and that person might experience that as well vice versa i'm seeing like it's like pulling and and coming back it's like a magnet with you guys so it's really really hard so nothing is bad here guys we all learn from all experiences so don't be too quick to judge on anyone so please um just wanted to point it out there i feel like then i feel like i need to say that today so yeah let's just move on to other cards within your reading to see how this progresses because you already know how it is i'm not going to focus within this group a lot on looks so i'm not getting as well a lot of looks regarding or comparing to other groups so i'm just focusing on this connection right now i feel like there's there is a part that might be you know that you guys feel like justice need to be done here um that something needs to happen here um, so you guys might feel like it's it's happened unfairly to you guys or this situation is unfair uh, You guys really need to focus on your health I feel like both you might not be sleeping well because of this you might be feeling very fatigued You might not be feeling kind of like yourself or even a little bit depressed regarding the situation So I feel like this is a card for you to really pay attention to you and your emotions and your feelings Because this is really important as well However, as I said, like, no matter how, and if you end up doing this, it's going to be really passionate. It's going to be really good. It's going to feel really good. It's going to feel like you're complete again. And like, you know, everything is the same old. And as I said, like, you have to ask yourself, is that truly what you want? And you can move or grow apart from different reasons it could be cheating it could be you know just not having enough time for each other so there are different reasons why you might grow apart sometimes you know you can grow back together when you invest in this relationship but you do need to make sure that this is absolutely what you want however the passion that you guys share is very very real and it's very there and that's not crazy because you guys have been together so you guys know how it feels you guys know how good it can be so that makes it really difficult to pull away from each other so i feel like you guys have like a tough decision here to make so i feel like you feel as i said like there is some injustice done here within the situation maybe you feel like maybe you haven't been given this chance or this person feel like they haven't been given like this chance to work things out with you and they want to try it they really want to try it because the chemistry who as i said like it's off the charts it's really really good look at this the effort so cute you guys so cute because i feel like you're willing to put in the effort and this person is as well willing to put in the effort which is really awesome but let me tell you one thing this is a general reading so only take what resonates with you guys um but if you have like this person on your hand they're really willing to put in the effort and to change whatever has been done they're willing to bring in the justice they're willing to be fair and honest and loyal to you 
whatever that means to invest in this relationship because the chemistry between you guys is really off the chart it could be like a william and and kate thing you know it could just like be you know i need to try things and just you ending up being together there are so many different things here so only take what resonates with you guys but i do feel like this is a very honest person in in general you know they really want to put in the effort to make it work they really want to make it work so yeah the passion is there the love is there um the question is are you still there <laughs> you know are you guys still there are you guys still invested and so forth so we've got here the panther so having this even though i'm not focusing on looks i am seeing darkish hair here i could be green eyes i'm seeing someone who's very beautiful um, they might have like some soft touches um, and I'm also seeing here someone who takes things pretty easily they have like a very casual look to them um, nothing fancy or anything like that very casual they might wear their jeans and their shirts or something like that um, just casual I'm not seeing something you know popping or anything it's just something about them the combination i'm seeing like a certain contrast within them they could have like you know some intense eyes and then something contrasting within their face you know like if you have green eyes and dark hair it pops out there's something about them that just i feel like that's trucking that really going to pull you in so that is the type of energy that i'm getting like from this person so next up i just want to roll out the dice to see We have here um, Scorpio and we have Aries. Gorgeous. We have Cancer and Sag. And last we have Gemini. Double Gemini. So yeah. I also have here the Six of Swords, which kind of like represents the air sign that we started off with. So just wanted to point it out. So next up, I just want to grab my bowl which you are hearing throughout the reading just to say you know how maybe you guys meeting how the meeting will turn out Ooh. so we have your short we have your thankful for this opportunity we have animals this person might like animals and spicy you might move across you might be feeling very enchanted because you might have this opportunity job might be something that we have your baby animals we were talking about animals so we have number four for four i feel like this is guided guys this is guided work naive rare and allergies those are things that are coming up regarding this person and how you guys are going to meet and how this is going to end up and this might work out differently for every one of you guys so just take it as it resonates just pick the things that you're kind of like oh you know that is the person that i was thinking about so let's see what type of initial we might get regarding this person so we've got the e the i the s the n the b the o the q the n again the v and the p so group number four, this was your reading and I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!